nothing can be done. Iowa's Jazz Station, 88.3 KCCK. And that is the Dandelion Stompers actually recorded live right here at KCCK in our Studio D. Oh, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago, something like that. Mm. Katie Roach from the Stompers joins me today. I'm Dennis Green in here for uh, just a minute to talk about a big New Year's Eve soiree coming up at Hotel Vetro. So, Katie, you're kind of here in a dual role <laughs> as a member of the Dandelion Stompers, who's on the bill, uh, but more importantly in your role as uh, with the Angler Theater because this is a fundraising event to uh, further the big dual campaign that y'all and Film Scene are doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, when Dandelion Stompers started thinking about, you know, playing a gig for the Ring in the 20s back in, you know, we started getting asked to play some benefits. And I thought, well, I want it to benefit this thing that I'm, <laughs> that be, I, that I'm working on. So um, If we're going to be doing a benefit, <laughs> let's have it benefit our cause. I yeah, get it. Yes, yeah, so I'll be, you know, belting and, and uh, having a great time with all the folks that come out to support that night. So um, Strength and Grow Evolve is our joint capital campaign with Film Scene. The Englert Theater and Film Scene are working together to build the greatest small city for the arts. Um, our first major campaign invest, uh, investment is, uh, is off and running. So that beautiful new movie theater right there on Gilbert Street, and uh, Gilbert and College Street at the Chauncey Film Scene's new three-screen theater. It's just gorgeous. Um, going to go and see a movie there uh, the day after Christmas and on New Year's Day. And they've just got a whole... Um, a whole slew of things happening there, but they're going to start showing films in 35 millimeter this week, in addition to other formats. So that's one of our big things, and then some what's, big investments in the Englert too. Yeah, what's uh, what are some of the bigger projects that are going to benefit the Englert? Well, you know, I always tell people um, don't look too closely at the facade of the Englert. Um, <laughs> there, there's a <laughs> Bu build, building's a hundred years old, 107. So, um, you know, if you kind of if you look closely at that marquee, there's a there's a lot of damage to that marquee, about a quarter of a million dollars of uh, of repairs to that. That alone, um, we're going to be fixing up the the masonry um, all along the front, um, a new membrane uh, on this on the roof and some HVAC units. You know, we want to make sure everybody is uh, warm or cold as needed uh, <laughs> throughout the temperate seasons in, that happen here in Iowa. And um, so it's a, it's a real big investment um, and, some, uh, and some changes to our gallery too to make it a, a more hospitable space for the public. So, so yeah. that's the long-term yeah. goal that's, uh, of which this event is a part. But yeah. uh, as we kick off the 20s, and this is, yeah. I didn't really think about this until we started talking about this event. But you know, it's oh, a twenty, a roaring twenties party on it's New Year's Eve. Cool idea. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I'm a little slow on the uptake. Sometimes. It's all, it's going to be the twenties yeah. again. I mean, you know, thankfully, you know, for the most part, we've had you know quite a quite a few major improvements since the last uh, round of the twenties. Um, alcohol is not uh, presently illegal, um, so that we will have some great drinks at this party. And, you know, it's kind of crazy to think that this music that we're playing is, you know, 100 years old. Yeah. Um, and this was, you know, the popular music of the day. It really, you know, it changed America in such a huge way. I mean, you, know, you, you live and breathe jazz every day. So do I. But we know this is, the, this is a great American art form. Um, it's it's one of America's I think most important contributions to the world. And this is this is bringing back the era when it was also the most popular music. It was in the, the world. most popular I know, which I like. I, I I'm hoping that the revival maybe, of the twenties will maybe bring 20s, jazz yeah. into people's you there know you hearts and souls again because it's it's my favorite and uh, I just I love singing music from this era. So a yeah. perfect fit, obviously, for the Dandelion Stompers, who've yes. been doing this for several years now. But you've also managed to entice another Iowa Cityan back yeah. home to be a part of the program with his new band. Yeah. Um, so, you know, people have probably heard about Chase Garrett's piano stomp that happened for a number of years at the Englert Theater. And... Chase recently uh, married his lead vocalist, Emily, and they have this band called Sweetie and the Two Fakes, and she's a, she's a killer vocalist. You got Chase on keys. Um, you know, they're just, they're, they're, they're a little more bluesy than we are, and um, super danceable. Lots of dancers are coming out to this party. So um, we've got, you know, 
four or five different dance clubs being represented that are coming out. So I always tell people, don't be intimidated by the good dancers. You know, like just right, yeah, because there, there'll be there'll be some Lindy. There'll be some good Lindy hop. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah. So there, there's gonna be some people that really know how to shake their thing. And then I always say, you know, you have a drink. You can in your system. You probably can learn to shake your thing a little bit. Sweetie more. and the Toothaches, the piano of Chase Garrett, well known. Boogie Woogie pianist who grew up in the Iowa City area, started his piano career right here at Kirkwood Community College, uh, in fact. Uh, and uh, his wife is the lead singer for that band, Emily Richard, and they are going to be headlining along with the Dandelion Stompers at the New Year's Eve soiree at the Hotel Vetro. Katie Roach is with us today. So we got uh, Dandelion Stompers. Mm-hmm. we got Sweetie and the Toothaches. Now, of course, the campaign is also a part of film scene, mm-hmm. so I'm guessing that there's going to be a cinema slant to there this as well. Yeah, So we're setting up a little f- film lounge for the evening, so once you're nice and sweaty and you might have like a a cool beverage in your hand you might need to you know get a little plate of food there's gonna be excellent food excellent drinks you can go and you can chill sit down and watch some vintage films from a hundred years ago so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a good time (laughs) so and you mentioned uh so you mentioned uh drinks of course because Mm -hmm. prohibition fortunately (laughs) not a thing in the 2020s uh and uh how about uh how about food uh, yep, yeah, we've got wonderful food coming um, from both the Bread uh, Bread Market Garden, who are sponsors of the event. Um, and if you've ever had their catering, you know it's excellent. And then um, then the Graduate Hotel is also catering in. So we're going to have a spread and a half. Uh, whenever we do these events, I love the, the detail that goes into selecting the food. Everybody is very serious at f- about food at both of our organizations. <laughs> <laughs> so how do people get tickets? So you can go to ingler.org slash ring and check out the tickets there. Uh, we've got a $35 student ticket. Now that's only available at the Ingler box office. So we do have some limited hours right now, but if anybody has any problem uh, getting that student ticket that needs it, they can just email me, katie at ingler.org, E-N-G-L-E-R-T. I'll make sure you get that that $35 student ticket. Happy to do that. Um, We've got a $75 single ticket, which includes two drink tickets, because not everybody wants to have the $100 unlimited uh, (laughs) ticket. And then we've got um, tables of 10 for $1,200. And I think we have two tables left um, as of this moment. So, uh, you know, we'll see see, uh, where that pans out. And... uh, you know, um, I had wanted to do a bobathon where people could, you know, line up and get their hair bobbed, but that that didn't make the cut. So, um, <laughs> all, all of you with long hair, you know, don't worry, nobody's going to come at you with scissors. So it'll be fine. <laughs> well, it just sounds it just sounds like a blast, and I think our timing is perfect because as people are gathering for the holidays, might be. Uh, thinking about something fun to do for New Year's Eve, Absolutely. whether it's just uh, you and your spouse or a significant other. Maybe I want to grab one of those uh, tables that are still available. Well, thanks for including us in the promotion on this. Oh. It's been fun uh, talking it up and playing the music and everything as we head into New Year's Eve. And, uh, yeah, looking for a, uh, a fun time as we ring in the Roaring Twenties. Well, you know, we're a lucky to commun- community to have KCCK, our own jazz station, an awesome jazz station. Thank you so much for sponsoring this uh, Ring in the 20s event here.